How do you think Birmingham compares to your hometown in Brazil? It's different, you know, Brazil is... Uh, I have uh, more people than Birmingham and my city also, but uh, it's, it's different uh, country, you know, England and Brazil. Weather? Yeah, the weather also, <laughs> as you see today, it's very cold. Man. Oh. How are you settling into the club? You know, I think uh, it'd be more difficult, but uh, every, everybody helped me, you know, the players, the staff, to stay calm. So now every, every game I adaptation, I get better and better, and then to, to help Aston Villa. And have you had a chance to look around Birmingham? Yeah, sometimes I go with my girlfriend to, to see the city, but not a lot. I saw you went to Buckingham Palace in London. How was that? Yeah, yeah, it was, it was good, you know. My girlfriend went to, to go to London. Did you go anywhere else while you were there? No, only in, the, in this palace. Did you meet the Queen? No. <laughs> Not yet. Have you met Prince William yet, or is that something you'd like to do? Because he's a big Villa fan, obviously. I know. It's something like I, I want to do. So I hope uh, to, to meet him early, you know. Do you have lots of people back home that are following your progress? Yeah, yeah of course. Uh, my family, my brothers, my kids. Uh, every day uh, when I, I finish the train, I call my mum because my mum is everything for me, you know. I don't have father. My father died when I was uh, nine years. So my mum do everything for me to become a professional player. So every day when I come home, finish the train, I call her. When my father died, it was difficult because uh, my mum is uh, alone with uh, me and my brothers. So it was difficult, but uh, she worked for that. And then today I do everything for her. But I have kids also, you know. When I, I play, I have to think about my family, my kids, my mum, everybody. When I got my first kid, I was 14 years. Uh, was difficult, you know, because uh, in this time I start to to play, not to play football, but to to try to to play professional. So it was difficult. I have to work, to study, and to to training. So it was difficult for me. I was 14 my first, and 16 my second, and then it was difficult, you know. And then that brought you on the road to to Europe, I guess, as well. And I saw you had a trial with Atletico Madrid. I was young, you know, so I played there when I, I was 17. Uh, so I stayed there only six months. I don't remember a lot of things, but uh, I trained one time with uh, the first team. How was that training with the first team at Atletica at 17? Yeah, it was amazing, yeah. but I'm a little bit afraid, you know. Only big, uh, big players there, Diogo Costa, Miranda, Raul Garcia, that was uh, amazing. You must have been big, though. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, did you give an elbow to Diego Costa? I know he's wild. <laughs> you think in, the, in this time I can give a... <laughs> no, no, I don't do this. You went back to Brazil after that, is that right? And you had, you had a few jobs because you weren't sure about whether football was going to work out. Yeah, that way I, I started to, to, to work in Brazil because uh, I have to do something, you know? because I have to get some money for my, for my kids. So in this time I work, that I say I work, I study, and then I, I train, you know, and then I play football. And then after I, I stop everything and then continue only play football. I go to six teams before I, I can go to Slovakia. So it was difficult. In this time I, I don't want to play, you no, know, when I go to the six team, I don't want to play more football because I think it's finished for me, you know. So I have Slovak and then everything be good there. It was very, very cold. You now three months, I think four months is snow. So I come from Brazil, you know, and then when I come there, it was, I cannot feel my feet, you know. So it was difficult to play football there. And did you start, did you start out as a number 10 or wanted to play midfield to start with? Yeah, because... Uh, before I play midfield, but it's, it ran a lot, and then it was difficult for me because sometimes I cannot come back to to help my teammate, and then the coach was <laughs> called me, shout me like crazy. So I I prefer to play striker. And I've got to ask you about the legs. 
I have my legs like this, you know, so I don't have uh, some pain or something like this. So, but it's okay. I don't feel nothing. It's never hampered you getting around the pitch or anything like that, or with injuries or. Never. I hope to continue like this. Do you feel like you appreciate what you have now because of what's everything that's gone before in your life and your career? I think so. I I'm very happy uh, because I play in Premier League, the the big competition in the world, and then uh, every day I think about uh, the past. You know what. Uh, what I can know, expect for the another team to say no for me. So I'm very happy you know, that I got my job.